I'm done with pol like literally done with politics. It is the moment that I got politics out of my life and it was a hard process. It was not easy to do to just not give a shit. But I think what really like made me lay back was the pandemic's kind of over. Trump's no longer president. They're not fucking talking about him every fucking day. And you can just kind of like sit back and be like, Oh wow. He's a he's a war criminal too. Oh wait, our country is run so none of it matters. In fact, I bet you the Republicans and the Democrats work together to try and split make the divide bigger and all that shit. Mm. Not not saying that it's, that it's true, not saying that it isn't, but all I'm saying is that if you spend your time on it, you'll wanna die. You'll wanna die if you spend your time on it. That's how much it sucks. The more that you learn about politics, the more you don't support anyone, the more you are like, what? Politics is the business of controlling the people. They stage events for excuses to make new laws. If you hate billionaires, and you know that billionaires lobby to get laws made, why do you want to give the government more power? You're giving billionaires more power, dummy. Yeah, so that's why politics is fucking stupid, and you shouldn't even, like, yeah, the more time, the more time you spend on it, the more time you will have wasted. So, get out while the water's calm. Ish. Get out, get out now. Sell your mental stock of politics. Get, fucking, get off Twitter, get off, stop reading it. And every time I see some bullshit go on on Twitter, I just scroll past. And because I don't think I don't think humans. I don't think the daily, the average person is supposed to know what's going on everywhere in the world all of the time. You know, it's called as George Carlin said, it's the American dream because you have to be asleep to believe it. You know, if you just shut your eyes and live a local life. You won't be thinking about the fucking children in, that make our phones. Yeah, shit's depressing. But you know what it is? You know what? There's a perspective that, that you can have. You can have the perspective that... I'm just going to put them on my black... These people are anonymous, the people that I'm referring to. They're anonymous. I'm just gonna put them on blast, okay? I do not support the... This is a, a direct quote. I will quote them verbatim, okay? It's not my fault. I was born into a capitalist hellscape. There comes a point where you can't blame capitalism for all your problems. Because you are sitting there doing nothing, victimizing yourself, being real comfortable in the victimhood, knowing that one day they'll just give it to me. One day they'll just fucking, yeah, they'll give it to you. Oh, they'll give it to you, all right. One day they're just gonna, Give me what I deserve. Oh, they're gonna give it to you. They're gonna fucking give it to you, dude. Oh, oh, these these billionaires, they're eventually laws will be passed that redistribute the wealth. And no, they're gonna they're gonna fucking you know who pays. We do. You know what happens every time the economy collapses, and fucking shit's more expensive, but our wages don't go up. You know who benefits off that? The people at the top. And the people at the top include the government, dummy. So shut up. You can't, you, you can 
It's a choice. It's a choice. You choose to do nothing in the face of adversity. At currently, I'm in debt. I don't know about you. If you own a home, you're probably in debt. If, do you own a home? You couldn't afford that home, probably. So you're in debt. Yeah, you're a slave to money, then you die. That's the bittersweet symphony. You're gonna die. And, and, and so fucking... Don't, so don't dwell on this shit. So choose your battles, man. You could sit there and be like, it's not my fault. And yeah, you didn't choose to be born here, but would you rather have been born in fucking Iraq? Or Ira I Iran? Like, are you dumb in the head? The count your fucking blessings, dude, because you're here and not there. There's... You could have been born in Yemen. But you weren't. You're here. So shut up. They're systemically killing people. There is a genocide happening overseas. But, but, oh, oh, my coffee's really expensive. I can't afford my coffee. I don't want to work. Billionaires and billionaires should just pay me. They're not going to pay you. <laughs> Every time they pay you, the value of the dollar goes down. <laughs> Fucking dick. And I, I get the irony that I'm telling you not to, to fucking focus on it, and, and that I'm, in doing so, I am focusing on it. But I'm, exp I'm trying to show to you why this shit is meaningless, and every time you have a conversation with someone, you have the same fucking conversation, and it sucks you right back in. So now I'm talking about it again. And you see why this shit is so fucking toxic? Do you see why this shit is so fucking toxic? Because it was out of my head. It was out of my head. And now I've been going for 45 minutes about it. Learn alchemy or die. That's what it is. Yep. We were born with shit conditions. Could be shittier. Could be better. But, you know. Make the best of it. Because you're gonna die. Because you're gonna die. And if you die... A victim then you never lived you were never alive if you if you are if you lived your entire life like none of this is my fault there's nothing I can do there's nothing I can do I would just come on I guess I'll just fucking drink caramel macchiatos and, and eat pizza till I die if you do that then that's that's your life you know what fine but guess what you're you yeah you're a victim then <laughs> And you know how to not be a victim? Fucking do so do do anything that isn't that. There are variables in life that you have no control over, but you have control over the reaction. Something bad happens to you. I know Jocko Willink was talking about this. He said, he said, just say good. Good. Yep. Good. Put a fucking, put a fucking tough face on for once in your life. Be like, yep, yep, that fucking happened to me. These people, again, anonymous, I'm sorry, but I'm going to put you on blast because I despise your way of thinking. And I don't think, and again, psychology, maybe it isn't your fault. Maybe you are depressed and it's just a cycle, you know? I was stuck in that cycle, I get it. But I'm telling you the way out is to not think like this. And I don't know how to reverse engineer it, but just get yourself off of the way to think about this. Who am I talking to? Who am I? Who, who is this for? Who is this for? Is this for you or is it for me? Oh, uh, that's where we get deep. Learn alchemy or die. Because if you spend your whole life thinking you're a victim, you'll die a victim. It's, it, is, it is shockingly easy to get sucked back into that way of thinking. The woe is me, the everything is, it's not my fault. Yeah, life happens to you, but, but, that is not to say in the same sentence that you, there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah, life will continue to happen to you. You just gotta fucking roll with the punches and just take it. Just take it. Take it. 
or they'll give it to you. I'm not talking about I'm not talking about paychecks. I'm not talking about unemployment. I'm not talking about stimulus packages when I say they're gonna give it to you. So either take it up. <laughs> There's two options in life. You either take it what life throws at you, you take it up the ass, fucking whatever, you know, sometimes life will give it to you up the ass. You take what life gives you up the ass, or they'll give it to you. You know? So... And, and as far as I'm concerned, the longer that you're a victim, the easier it is for them to not only give it to you, but in the same breath, take it from you oh we're abstract now oh i'm talking about i'm talking about sodomy that's what it is either you take it or they'll give it to you 